Thanks. Welcome to the basement. You just walk down a flight of stairs in the middle of Santa Monica College campus. We are hidden down here. It's kind of like a bunker where a lot of cool things happen. Mm -hmm. So this is the basics. It's our mail room. Very exciting. But I feel like the best part of KCRW are all the photos lying the walls telling the story of who we are over so many years. We have such a history here. There's so few radio stations that have this depth of history of just going back so far. Our first music director was here in the late 70s, and this is just a reflection of who we are. I'll show you my favorite. Frank Zappa in a suit, because this is when he was testifying <laughs> in front of Congress, in front of the Senate, mm -hmm. um, and doing some heavy hitting in the political world, which is kind of crazy to think about when you listen to some of his music, mm -hmm. um, which is awesome. I love John Doe. He looks like James Dean. He's just like, so cool and young and beautiful, and he's just such a classic LA musician from the band X. Um, very white. So without saying, say no more. And then you kind of move around the corner, a few more recent bands, and back here is where the news happens. We've got a newsroom, but this is where reporting is to the point in which we LA goes on. And I'm almost kind of scared to walk in there most of the time because there's a sea of producers, which you can kind of, I sneak in through the window. As an engineer, there's a sea of producers here, all typing more notes, getting people on the phone. This show is made in the moment with the day's news, and that is so stressful to do and to do it well on the level that they do. Warren's in here. Warren Are they Warren. recording now? Yeah, they're recording now. And he, it's just like this giant room, and he's in the middle of it, just Warren, in front of the desk, which always makes me laugh, kind of seeing it. It's just so intense. But it's the news, and he does such an amazing job. So yeah, I usually don't open that door, because mm -hmm. I don't want to get in the way. It's kind of a tease. You can just see his head. Yeah, you can just kind of see his head, and they're, they're making it happen. Um, and then these are our little edit bays. as Melissa Morton. <laughs> And we only have like a small group of engineers who do all of our stuff. If you think about all the different types of bands that come through, it's literally four engineers who do all of those recordings. They're really incredible people. So, um, this is our front office. It is literally the only room with a closed door office, and that's for our general manager. The rest of us pretty much sit on top of each other, as mm -hmm. you can see. It's pretty tight. We have awesome volunteers who man the front desk. We answer the phone. It's Michael. Mm -hmm. That's Gary Scott, our next director. Harriet Ells, our director of talk programming. That's Alyssa King. She's another publicist. And yeah, this is it. This is like a producer's bungalow. There's a lot of people mm -hmm. squeeze into this room. <laughs> people are probably like, we need a new building. Um, but yes, these are producers. That's Francis Anderton, who's behind DNA. And it's our web team as well. So it's an incredible, incredibly small amount of people producing an incredible oh. lot of content. <laughs> Hey, Francis. <laughs> I love this one because you can see Ben Harper's tattoo. <laughs> and I love this one because of David Burns' carry arms. This is literally part of every tour oh I gosh. always give. I'm like, you really have to take notice of this. Looks like the tattoos. It's substantial. Um, <laughs> so we're coming up on my favorite part. So we're about to walk through the newsroom, which is probably going to be real serious. Ready? This is our music library. <laughs> and this is where all the music lands when it's sent to us. There's many, many of these sent to us every week. This is Eric J. Lawrence. I look, do the tur dramatic turnaround from the black chair. It's like kind of an evil genius sort of thing. Come on, Eric. Hello. <laughs> he is our music librarian and our DJ. And he, this is his man cave, as we like to say. Mm -hmm. We're going to come out of this room into the meter area. <laughs> Exactly, but it is all organized and cataloged, and I mean, it's an amazing effort. It is floor to ceiling in here. You come back here, it's arranged by world, you know, Pakistan, Mexico, and back here it's sound traps. You've got jazz, you've got pop, you've got rock. There's over about 70,000, I think, albums in here. And what's amazing is this collection has been here for as long as the station has you know, been around. Tom Schnabel, our first music director, mm -hmm. he told me a story. He grabbed a piece of vinyl, and there was a letter he'd written to someone around the world that said, can you send me a copy of this album? And his letter was still in there. And that's how KCRW was built, sending letters to, like, you know, labels and artists around the world saying, send us your music. Because, you know, we don't take the easy way out of just whatever people give us. We, like, dig and climb. And, you know, our DJs spend probably three times as long as their actual show is 
putting together their show. Like the average DJ would say, like they put eight hours into a three-hour show, which people don't think about. Someone yeah, like that's awesome. in here and just like press some buttons. Mm-hmm. So our vinyl collection is amazing. Anyone who's a music lover and comes in here, they kind of freak out. I love the smell of it. it smells like kind of a used bookstore in here. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jason Bentley was a volunteer at KCRW before he was on the air and before he was our music director. And he says he'll still find his handwriting on things, mm-hmm. like logging things away. So this this is like our heart and soul right here. Yeah, it's rich. The library. So, oh, this is all the new stuff. Right by the door to master control so the DJs can grab and run. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I think we might have a second. Okay. So we're sneaking in. These are also all of our music directors. Tom, Chris Burritis, that's Ariana Morgenstern, who's produced the show on mm-hmm. Nick Hardcore. There he is, the man with the plan. Hi, Jason Bentley. <laughs> so underneath here, we have some turntables, we've got CD players, we've got some laptop set up. We've got a little bit of everything. Awesome. I love this. Oh. DJ's mailboxes. It looks like they actually came and got their mail. Usually it's just like stuffed out. I know. I've s- there's this hilarious picture that Ann Lip put on Instagram one time. It says, like, DJs, check your mail. Check your mail. <laughs> Here's Beth, who some may not know, made his uh, U.S. radio debut mm-hmm. here at the station many, many, many years ago. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I love this one at Wayne Point. He's like a complete friend of the station. That bench is right outside there. Mm-hmm. And there's so many photos of people sitting on that bench. <laughs> Salman Rushdie and Danger Mouse. Mm-hmm. Like, there's some really interesting kind of like, wow. And the Beastie Boys with Zach Galifianakis. Like, the, uh-huh. the people who come to KCRW, it's pretty, pretty awesome. You can see their personalities in these Polaroids, too. I know. Well, we try. I try to make them laugh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, there's some good ones. This is definitely one of my favorite, Reggie Watts. He's just yeah. <laughs> So, here, this is where the band play. This is the studio, but we won't uh, get in Ray's way. Hi, Ray Guarna. Hello. Um, There's a pretty incredible board in there. (laughs) Thanks. This is where the the magic happens. The magic happens in a couple ways in here. Because this is not only where all the bands play. That's where they put the drummer. So Mm. they kind of like Mm -hmm. put them away in the corner. And they always come out so sweaty. (laughs) Um, But this is also where we do our pledge drive. This is where we put the volunteers. We have like literally tables and chairs with like 50 phones and volunteers in this same room where all the bands play. And this is the only piano KCRW has ever had. So Carol Hughes played it, Nina Simone's played it, Tom Waits has played it. Like the people who have played this group of Mm Wainwright, it's just incredible. We usually tell the bands afterwards because we don't want to scare them. (laughs) Like, you know, the victory. But it's pretty amazing. It's a pretty small room. We sit, I think the biggest band I've seen is maybe like, Ozo Motley and their bridge team is like 16 people or something mm-hmm. in here. So that kind of makes it exciting. I was in here with Rocky Jawuni one day recording on the like handheld video recorder, and it was intense over a lot of them. Yeah. But that makes it was awesome. fun. Yeah, it was great. amazing. It was one of the best experiences. But then Laura Marley is here, chair, mm-hmm. guitar. It's just slate. You know, it's like you don't need that many people if you're just fun. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That, we've seen pretty much the entire station already. So this is where it all goes down. All right. Well, thank you so much for the tour. Sure. You got to come see the back, though. See the famous bench. Right? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. That's it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Take so many photos out here. And then this is what they see when they walk in the door. A lot of people take photos of it when they get here because they think it's cool. Just oh, a brainwash. Let's end on that.
That was awesome because it was exactly 10 minutes. Oh, wait, it's still going. <laughs> How do you go off, Google Glass? <laughs>